Welcome everyone. This is episode 13 of Silver Run Forest with me, Farmer Cop. I know I talked, we, we haven't really made any progress since last episode. Uh, in the last episode, we didn't make a lot of progress. I felt like we still made a little bit of money. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a time lapse right off the bat, uh, starting off here. I think we're just going to do a forestry time lapse and try to load this truck up as fast as possible. You guys will see all my different debacles and everything like that. So I'm sure it's going to be just great. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna get this truck loaded as fast as possible. I'm hoping we can get it done today. I'm sure we will be able to. It's just before noon now. And then after that, I would like to, if we still have time in the day, haul a load of iron down the hill. I think that'll be worthwhile for us. That helps pay off our truck. Um, but yeah, so that's our two plans for today. Not necessarily the episode, but that's just for today to start. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this truck all the way loaded up. And then we're also gonna drive it to wherever we're gonna sell it, which, um, looking at things is probably still gonna be the wood turner right old sawmill uh wood turners yeah we'll probably still take it to the uh wood turner depending on what their price is later on because it's just it's just pretty close so um yeah i'm gonna keep working and getting that stuff done and i'll see you guys in a bit you guys are gonna see it all happen in time lapse
All right, so another load done. And actually, before I stop off here, let's make sure this is still good. Oh my goodness, it went up. That's even better. Okay, yep, still a good place to sell. Uh, this load, I mean, the, you saw we had a lot of issues. I don't know what, it, yeah, we just had a lot of issues, but it's fine. We made it here. Finally, let's back up before that guy walks behind our truck. There we go. Okay. Oh, let's get in there and fasten all that. Okay. Uh, oh, let's switch over to the correct account this time, actually. I forgot to do this last. What am I doing? I'm in the wrong menu here. Okay. 25,350. I knew it wasn't going to be quite as good as it was last time. That's okay. Uh, let's hop over to us. So 25,350. Times 0.4 for our cut, so 10,140. So we will take it, obviously. And there we go. And I think our next step today will be to, well, first drive this back up over to the site. And then I do want to try, actually, we'll probably just stop at Richard's shop with this guy. And what I do want to try to do is try to get a load of iron hauled away. So I think that'll be our next step is to get a load of iron hauled away. But we are doing good today. We are making money. Richard, I called him earlier as well. He's happy we're getting at least two loads done a day pretty much and we probably still have time for other stuff like well right we do right now so i told richard that i would try it unless he had other jobs that was specific to him before i did any of our own stuff i would get uh two loads of logs done for him every day if i could um as much as possible that way take care of that and obviously the more we haul the more we make so it's obviously beneficial for us to haul as much as possible but we are sitting pretty good in the bank with fifty-seven thousand dollars. so um, pretty soon, I think we can uh, maybe buy a plot of land and start, uh, I don't know, maybe buying some forestry equipment here. So that would be nice if we can get to that point. I'm hoping there's a couple of contracts uh, on some of these fields uh, here soon in the springtime. Um, that way we can get maybe some of that done. Actually, we could probably check that right now. Let's just, let's get up over to the shop. We'll check the contracts and see how they're looking. Because uh, it'd be nice to get some actual farming done. I don't know if we'll do any farming or not on here. To be honest with you guys, I normally do a series where I will start off with pretty much nothing, kind of like No Man's Land, but it's a forestry map, and our goal is to build a farm on a forestry map. I do want to kind of do that again, but I don't know. We'll just kind of see how time permits, because this is our forestry series right here. So um, I would like to get a nice, big, successful, successful, if I could talk, uh, forestry company up and running, if I at all possible. Uh, but we'll just kind of have to see. I'm going to just pull this into here for now, and then... Uh, We'll shut that off and then we'll take our truck up and hopefully get some of that done. But um, let's go ahead and check out the contracts that are available right now. Yeah, so nothing farming related, which made sense to me. Uh, transfer to sawmill. Be careful not to damage them as any damage will be detected, detected from your pay. How do you damage a tree? I'm, I've never tried one of the uh, transporting uh, ones, but those are pretty good. Actually, honestly, those are really good payouts. I'm just worried that's going to take us all day to do one of those. And that may not be really worth it for us. Um, the deadwood ones aren't too bad. We just have to cut down the deadwood trees. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to keep uh, worrying about working for Richard. So um, we'll take this up to the mine. I'll get it up there, and then I will see you guys once we're up there, and we'll continue on our way. All right. I just dropped off another load of iron, which was great for us, because we're going to have our $3,000 deposit in our account here shortly, because I haven't done it yet. Um, let's go ahead and I get a straight away here. I can probably do it here real quick. Boom. Three grand. Beautiful. Get back in our lane. So there we go. We're up to sixty thousand dollars. That is incredible. Um, we might want to take a look at some land that we may want to buy here soon. I think though we are going to call it. It is starting to get dark. I think we are probably going to call it for the day, and then we're going to try to get an early start, maybe eight a.m. tomorrow. Head up and uh, do some forestry stuff. So that's kind of the plan for now. Uh, but once we get back to the house here, let's go ahead and see if we can't. Uh, Take a look at some land here because i think we should start getting close to maybe buying our own land and thinking about well once we get the land then we can start thinking about getting some forestry equipment i think we can buy a log back for this guy so we have something that can transport our logs places that would mean we probably honestly just need a something to process the logs or just a wheel loader to start to be honest if we had a wheel loader we could start doing our own forestry stuff i think right away oh of course it's snowing go figure go figure Park this guy. 
right here would be fine without smacking into the house. Okay, so let's go. Let's go inside. Let's get out of the snow. The snow's ridiculous. Get out of this. Close that. Put some coffee on. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's take a look online here. Let's go ahead and hop on and take a look at what we have more land for sale. So, um, we may be able to convince them to sell us this here. We'll have to see. Um, I've heard that they don't really want that land. That's where we got the old abandoned truck was up there. So, we may be able to convince them to sell that. Um, this would be great if we wanted to do some factory work, but we're really not ready for that. I don't really want any of the fields around here because um, we don't want to do any of that sort of work yet. This one's right by the shop. It's a little expensive, though. So I think we're probably better off with maybe one of these guys. Now, that one's 38% uh, above right now, so you need to start looking out for deals. That's 67% above. That means that one's really cheap normally. 27% above. Um, that one's a little bit down, 23,000. Um, the problem is getting, obviously, we can get up into this. This would be probably easy, but I don't know how many trees are out there. So uh, we may have to take a look at that and see if that's actually worth it. But I think everything else is pretty pretty big out past here. Um, 123. That one's probably got a lot of good trees in it, though. Yeah, I'm thinking that that's probably going to be our best starting area since it's a little bit cheaper. That'll get us a little bit more money to buy some more land. Um, I don't want to be headquartered here, I think. I think we want to be... I mean, this is the old sawmill up here, so I think maybe up in like this region would be kind of nice to do a lot of forestry up here. Uh, it's kind of right up against Richard's land through here. Richard owns all this, um, and then Richard owns this chunk, which he bought recently. So, uh, yeah, and this is just Richard's one operation. I mean, out in the, the wilderness, he's got some more operations running and shipping logs around. So we're not his only source of income, that's for sure. He does really good in terms of that. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, we could probably start down here. There's some small plots, I think, down here that we'll start with, and then I think then we maybe move up into some of these right here, like this one. Even at 15% 15, 15 off, it's 139000 So. We'll have to wait and see, um, but that one looks, I mean, it's hard to tell on a map like this. It's not like you can tell if it's, usually if there's more roads curving around, usually the land is a little bit more unforgiving. So this land probably through here is probably pretty bad. Though, oh, it's 50% above though, okay. But uh, that's probably not bad and that's probably not terrible there. So um, yeah, I and mean, you can see there's lots of roads through here. I mean, you know this is kind of a little bit more, has a lot of bit more crazy terrain and same through here. So. Uh, regardless of that, that's our plan, but I'm going to go ahead and rest, maybe get a couple things done, but uh, don't anything crazy to do. I may have to plow snow in the morning as well for Richard. We'll kind of have to play it by ear, but uh, yeah, so I will see you guys uh, tomorrow in game. All right, so a little bit of time has gone by. Uh, Richard paid us a thousand bucks to take care of uh, plowing for him, and he actually went up to the old shop, and he is currently driving down the uh, little tractor with tracks that has the... Uh, uh, Oh gosh, the stump grinder on the back of it, because we're gonna try to get rid of some of those trees that have kind of been in our way. So um, yeah, some of these little downy service berries or whatever they are that are up and around that are kind of just a pain to deal with. This one's not gonna be a pain to deal with. We're just gonna cut this one down. But uh, yeah, some of these smaller trees we're really not gonna make any money off of, and I'm just clearing them out of our way. So that's what I'm doing with some of these. Theoretically, in the forestry business, those would eventually be worth something, but in the, the, for our purposes, they won't be worth anything ever because they're part of the map, so they don't grow or anything like that. So it would be a cool feature if they kind of did grow on the map. That'd be that'd be interesting if you got a map and they grew. There's one of those downy service berries right there. Go get them out of the way. So yeah, he's going to bring that up here. It's, he said it's going to take him a couple, a few hours to get over here probably because it's a very slow piece of equipment. But uh, that's okay. We'll make it work. Let's grab this guy. Just get this guy out of here. What I've been doing is I've been loading him kind of towards the... Oh, that was a mistake there. Get it up high enough so it's above the trailer. I've been leaving the, the things up high like that just because... On the trailer just because I think, well, we want to get as much... Get as many logs as possible on there. But I've been driving in between these two at the back end trying to get a little bit offset as you guys might have noticed. Because it allows me to... Just back off. Well, when I actually hit it appropriately. That time it didn't work, but typically it just allows me to back off just like that and leave that there. That didn't work as effectively, so I'll try it there. That's okay. With this guy. Yeah, we'll get rolling on that. Let's see if we can't straighten this guy out a little bit. There we go, and I think I actually probably should move my truck. It's been a little in the way a couple of times, so 
We might actually move that real quick. Get that out of our way. I'm hoping by the end of the day, I'm hoping we can still get two loads today. We don't have to haul iron today, so I think we should be good in terms of that. That's one of those wood statue things. I'm not going to grab that. That's a collectible there. Very expensive collectible that we don't need. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, those that guy's a collectible right there. But uh, yeah, I don't know why I, do. I just noticed it now. But anyhow, um, I'm going to get back to working on some forestry stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys here later on, I think. All right. So the truck is full again, which is great. Um, we got our load done. Excuse me, our load done, and Richard was able to finally get this bad boy over to us. Which we're going to see if it actually does what we need it to do. If it'll ever, there we go, get going. I did encourage Richard to replace this tractor as well, but he says he really likes it. So, you know, we've got him to replace a lot of things. So, I don't think he's quite to the point where he's going to buy a whole new setup just for us. But that's okay. I'm hoping this works. Yes, there we go. Sorry, I forgot this thing won't pull it forward if you have it down. And won't drive if you have it on. Which, <laughs> I wish we had a better tractor, but that's okay. There we go. That's right, we gotta turn it off. This is quite the process, but at least we're going to be able to knock out some of these stupid trees that are in the way and some of the other garbage. There we go. Oh, we don't want to climb on that. That was very risky. There we go. Now with that guy, there's a couple of stumps over here. Now, obviously, it'll be easier for us to find stumps and deal with them when they are not covered in snow, mostly. So this is only really just us getting a few things while we're at it. But at the same time, Richard does probably expect us to get this done for him. I know we're not making really money doing this specifically, but this is kind of part of the job, to be honest. So, oh, oh boy. This thing, the engine dying, is killer is killer absolute killer i need it we might just lease our own dadgum tractor at this rate of this thing you can do it maybe i'll get nope Man alive, that is, uh, that stump does not want us to get it, that's for sure. That's good. Let's get some of these trees taken care of that we wanted to get rid of. We can. Yes, this thing, this thing is a piece of junk right here. Absolute piece of junk. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, goodness. At a minimum, I need some repairs. Richard needs to replace this piece of junk, that's for sure. I might call Richard. Oh boy. Is there anything on sale right now? No? Malibu's not gonna do it. How much your tractor is costing? <laughs> how much first off, how much horsepower does this thing require? Um, that's the first thing we need to look into here. Let's go to mulchers. This guy right here is the that's the forestry one, right? Nope, grape and olive farming. Nope, these are not these are not which gonna be under forestry equipment. I knew that. I knew that. Alright, so. It's this guy right here. Right? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that goes in the, the whatchamacallit. See, it's this guy. Only 150 horsepower. That's not horrific. Um, yeah, definitely not horrific, but not great. I think this is what we're using right now. Yeah. No wonder we can't do anything with it. Doesn't have enough horsepower even for it. Now, the other question is, how much does the... Volvo BM have because that one I know that Richard has that tractor and if he could bring that tractor over here and get rid of this or keep it as a whatever he wants keepsake 140 that's got more horsepower so that would be better I bet you I could talk to Richard and get in that tractor over here for now anyhow I'll give him a call and hopefully we can do that but I think for now I think we're gonna wrap up this episode here um we've definitely had some struggles with this for sure but uh 
we made it so there we go we'll wrap the episode here if you guys enjoyed please drop a like down below if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been farmer cop thank you guys for coming and for watching